At magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Alexa Miro at isa po ako sa mga nabigyan po ng uh, honor na maging part po ng 50th year of Metro Manila Film Festival. Magandang hapon po sa lahat. Ako po si Carlo Lopez, uh, one of the producers from Reality Anon Studio. Okay, tapos na yung pelikula ninyo. Tapos sa Taiwan daw kayo nag-shoot. How was the whole experience? Uh, the, po. <laughs> the whole experience po, to be honest, hanggang ngayon hindi pa po ako makaget over kasi kaka-uwi lang po namin last week. Pero sobrang excited po kami na ihantog po ito sa inyo. Um, it's something that hasn't been done in the Philippines. And we're really just excited and so honored uh, to be able to showcase this to the country. Can I call on my fellow PEP um, writer Gordy Rula to ask a question to Alexa Gordy? Please approach the mic in front. I think there's a mic in front. Thank you. Pangayon po, pangalawa po. Pangalawa pa lang, di ba? Streaming yung una. So, mas excited ka ngayon dito matitest kasi medyo wala na kami narinig sa'yo after, you know, after LOL. Ito na yung next yung pagbabalik mo. Ah, tama po. Pagkatapos din po ng tahan ng pinakamasaya. Ayaw nga pala. Hindi ko na lang kanunod. Oo. Oo. Then, so, tuloy-tuloy na to at kano kayo ka, ano, preparation siya dito for the promo. At may mga iba pa sana kami gusto itanong pero sa press ko na lang ng movie na to. Yun na lang muna. Ang preparations po namin dito, hindi po ito namin sobrang napaghandaan because I was called by Enrique A couple of months ago, after the show of Tahan ng Pinakamasaya po, sinabi niya po kung gusto ko bang maging part ng experience na ito, na itong bagong content na ito, na hindi pa nga po nagagawa sa bansa natin. Kaya excited excited po ako na ipakita ito sa inyo kasi kami lang po mismo yung nag-shoot nito. Wala po kaming camera crew. Kami lang po din mag-isa pumasok sa mga abando ng hospital. Yes po. So Carlo, anything more about the whole experience that you'd want to share to them? To the viewers, uh, it's we're really excited to show this to everyone. Because uh, as, no as Alexa yes, mentioned, uh, everything was shot by themselves, okay. by the actors. Okay. So it's actually a found footage uh, treatment. So we're really so, excited. So you're not a salala, you're best to get one of Okay. But our next movie of Bossing was in 2019 before the pandemic. Yes. And then uh, the other just came from a hit movie, Malayali, last year. Last year. So yeah. The press turns on you. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. We pitched this to Bossing, and then he liked the script. This is um, his first time back since from five years ago. And then he, what he liked about this, because. Pure drama, sha. It's a family, family drama action. For a change. Yeah. So there's no, there's no hint of comedy even for for someone like Big Sol. No hint of comedy. Pilar Mateo is a drama also. Nahirapan this time. Ah, actually, on on two fronts, no. We prepare si Bossing sa sa action. Kasi may konting action to with with Piolo. Um, pero yung action kahit papano nagawa niya nyan sa ending episode. Yeah. So pero we're still trained with um with a. Fight, fight instructor, and then naghanda talaga siya for the drama scenes because maraming eksena dito na medyo mabigat talaga. Hindi naman siya foreign masadot to him kasi pag paggalenten ng ibo lang yata tayo ng drama sila. Pero first time yun to ginawa sa isang full length movie talaga. So yun ang pinaghanda niya talaga. May may mabigat na mga eksena si Bossy. Hindi kayo parang isang malaking sugal no, na hindi magkukomment si Vic Soto, Jojo. Uh, yeah, yeah. Although kasi rin, we, we, um, kami sa ABT and si, si MZ sa, sa sina uh, Bossing uh, and, and uh, Empress Ventures wanted to present something new, something fresh to the movie-going public na hindi lang nakasanayan nila si Bossing na ganun. So we wanted to to show a uh, different facet of, of Bossing's acting prowess. Ang galing, no? And then, aside from Bossing and... We're hoping and praying that, that this, this, the kingdom will perform well sa Pasko, no? Pero nakita ko rin yung, well, the first five that was already announced. And they're all really good projects, good movies. Uh, most of them are also friends of ours. Uh, like, you know, Percy and everybody. So, uh, sana lahat, lahat itangkilikin ng mga manunood uh, because they're all great projects. And I'm sure even the five that will be announced today are also going to be good movies. No? So, so yun lang, sana, sana lahat um, maging successful for this one, one of the things that, that made the last year's film fest very successful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Enjoy, no? uh, that's uh, part and parcel na talaga. You can't can just make a movie and end there. Talagang kailangan kasama sa promo. And in fact, even sa, di ba, merong MIFF. So I even know. we're preparing for the Los Angeles and all. I know, kasi dati, di ba? Rules 
that you play in the film. Hello, magandang hapon po. Ako po si Naomi Gonzalez and I play Chayong. Hello, magandang hapon po. Ako po si David Ezra and I play the role of Orly. Magandang hapon po. Ako po si Kaki Teodoro and I'm playing the role of Nimia. And magandang hapon po. Ako po si Madonna Tarayo, producer po. Dito, hindi ko na po kasama si Pepe Diyo. The pressure's on you because Himala, when it was shown, the Metro Manila Film Fest rigged awards, and it's a landmark film. So, um, ano yung kaibahan maliban sa musika, Madonna? Um, I think ang, ang magic talaga ng Himala, hanggang ngayon, it still resonates to everybody. Totoong-totoo pa rin kung ano yung nilalahad ng pelikula. Ang mga pagbabago doon sa mismong pelikula ay yung structure. Merong mga binago si Pepe at si Sir Ricky kung ano yung mga mauunang uh, uh, parts, no? Eksena. Para lang mas effective yung storytelling. Because it's an adaptation from the musical, the 29 musical. So, now we're bringing it to the cinemas that needed to be done. Okay. Ano lang po natin. Uh, okay. <laughs> Abangan po natin. Magandang i-punch na inyo. Because at the uh, guy who's now national artist, yes. um, should be part, or parang expected to be part of this. Yeah. Actually, Himala is a product of three national artists. Nora Honor, Ricky Lee, and Ishmael Bernal. So, it's a great pleasure. Naomi, kumusta yung shoot nyo? Uh, kami po, kung uh, hindi nyo po natatanong, kami po ay lahat taga-teatro. At first time po namin, Um, makasali sa isang movie. sa isang movie at MMFF entry pa po. So, um, we're just so for fortunate na napanood ni Direk Pepe yung aming um, immersive adaptation of Himala film into a musical ng 2019. So, kaya po naging film. So, sobrang-sobrang surreal po yung experience actually. Hindi, namin ma hindi kami makapaniwala na nangyari po ito sa amin at sa, amin, sa lifetime po namin. So, we're very, very excited. Siyempre, ang experience po namin, totally, it's a different discipline from theater. Um, making a film is something we learned a lot from it. Uh, kasi iba po yung discipline namin sa teatro. I'm super scared of speaking, public speaking, and I have stage fright, so I just want to say that uh, we think this film is very powerful. We spent um, at least six months writing this in the library of Sir Ricky Lee, our national artist. He co-wrote this with Angela Chensa, but our entire team was there brainstorming together, and, and we really love the movie. It's so heartwarming heartwarming. If you cried in Firefly, you will cry again here, but even more. And. Um, You won't see them in the first teaser, but um, this also has uh, Isa Calzado in the cast, Kylie Padilla, Alessandro De Rossi, and uh, Shella Stevens. So, please watch. Can you answer people from Speed now? Salve Asis and Tessa Ariola, who are here to ask questions for Green Book. Some um, best picture. Huh. Not, not so much pressure, just we really want to show the story. Uh, and, and we have such a great team working together. They're the same team behind Firefly. We have Direct Zig Dulay. Um, Direct Neil Daza is our cinematographer. And our writer is Anja Chensa, who won Best Screenplay for Firefly along with Sir Ricky Lee. And, and we really wanted to catch the performances of Dennis Trillo and Ruru Madrid. This is a defining moment for Ruru, so. I hope you get to catch Kailulu. Especially sa public affairs, kasi yung sobrang sumugal kay Lulu Madrid sa kanyang mga show project. So, maraming salamat, Nessa. Thank you, Napakahirap manood at mag-analyze ng pelikula. I think, uh, the, I congratulate the, 12, um, the 11 screening committee. Nung una, from the script, we have to read 39 scripts and rate them according to 40% uh, artistic excellence, 40% commercial viability, 
10% Filipino cultural sensibility and 10% for global appeal. So we have to rate them, lahat kami may score sheet which we submitted to the uh, Secretariat for kahapon. And nila, na nila, kinampit na and uh, it really was a close fight. In very, very close, um, four, five, six, and well, we have to pick. Ang ganda naman announcement ni Chairman na yung mga hindi mapipili dahil magaganda rin naman bibigyan ng chance sa Summer Film Festival. Sigurado sila. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sito. Wala pa ka po natin si Mr. Chesar. So, ang unang pelikula. This film is a romance comedy starring Francine Diaz and Seth Federley. Produced by Rico Entertainment Incorporated and directed by Chris Santo Biaquino. This is a magical story of two people, Lex and Karen, from different time timelines, 30 years apart, connected by a mysterious comet through a dating app. As they grow close, Karen asks Lex to change key moments in her past to prevent her pain and separation. But every change of the past brings unforeseen consequences altering their futures in unexpected ways. In one last effort, Lex hopes to set things right, but some events may be beyond control. This is a film from uh, Regal Films, directed and written by Crisanto Aquino, starring Francine Diaz and Seth Fedelin. Ang pelikula po is My Future You. Santos and Adam wow. Produced by Metro Torque Production and directed by Dan Villegas. This movie is about Eva Candelaria, who has been waiting for this day for the last 10 years, the birthday party of Gilly Vega, the billionaire who brutally murdered her only daughter 10 years ago and got away with the crime. Eva arrived at the party disguised as a socialite, navigating the party as she one by one stalks every single person involved with her daughter's murder, going through the ranks one by one until she gets to her main target. And armed with no plan, Eva's options dwindle as the night wears on. Will she see her mission through or die trying? Again, this is a film from Metro Torque Productions, directed by Tanto Degas, written by Dodo Dial. Starring Vilma Santos and Aga Mula, ang pelikula po, Uninvited. soldier named Miguel, who is a platoon leader assigned to the southern Philippines. In one encounter with an extremist group, the confrontation turns tragic when all his men are killed in the battle. Witnessing the death of his men pushes Miguel to the edge and goes hung up in fighting the enemy with bloodless and vengeance until finally wiping out the enemies. After his discharge from the army, Miguel is haunted by the carnage. He now works as a security guard and faces a different kind of war. One evening, while on duty in a warehouse, two drug peddlers play by him, and her brother enter the warehouse to hide from vigilantes who are pursuing them. Unaware of who the intruders are, Miguel turns the two to the squad. When Miguel sees the intruders shot by the vigilantes, the memories of the bloodbath 
that the fellow platoon came back to him. Riddled with guilt, Miguel takes up the fight for the survival of the two drug vendors. Armed with a rusty shotgun, he wades through a gauntlet of fire and bullets. All hell breaks loose in a night when a tormented soul, a sinner, and a horde of demons collide. Friends, this is a film from Nathan Studios Incorporated. It's from God's Studio Productions and views directed by Richard Sams, written by Richard Sams, G. Flores, and Wilfred Manala. Starring Julia Montes and Arjo Ataide. Ang pelikula po ay Topa. Congratulations. There's a character named Woody who has spent the last seven years moving from one town to another in all the corners of the world, searching for the best place where he can stay put. This time, he moves to a peaceful city of Karatsu in Saga, Japan, where he meets Lin Lin, a charming but mysterious street vendor at the port market. They immediately hit it off and Woody starts to believe that he has found a permanent place he could call home. But Lin Lin has some sort of a psychic ability that is a person who is within a three foot radius from her. She can foresee whether that person will hurt her or bring her joy. Such a skill has prevented Lin Lin from being hurt by her people, especially men. However, it has also kept Lin Lin into a life of isolation and hypervigilance. Unfortunately, once Woodley returns the space within Lindin's three foot radius, he is deemed as a person who would hurt her in spite of everything going smoothly between the two. This results in Lindin distancing herself from Woody. How can Woody convince Lindin that he's the right one for her? If Lindin's psychic ability dictates that he is not the one, will the power of Woody's love be enough to defy Lindin's romantic destiny? How will Woody win the heart of the psychic girl? My dear friends, this is a film from Viva Communications, directed and written by Jason Paul Laksamana, starring Julia Barreto and Carlo Aquino. Hold me close, ang atipong pelikula. Summer Film Festival. Okay? So, uh, okay. This last or fifth finalist is about a film. It's about a character named Monette. Her mother, Rosa, and son Keith from a dysfunctional family. They both ended up falling in love with married men. Monette with Jack and Rosa with Pablin. The harvest from the Arisla and the public helped them survive all these years. When drought reached them, they shifted to the buy and sell of antique products. After the burial of Pabli, a painting appears on their doorstep. This was about the same time that the real wife of Pabli arrives along with her two children claiming the land that her family owns. However, during the nine days of the Pasiam, People disappear one after another. Fearing for their lives, Monette and Rosa do everything to find out the cause of the dis disappearances. In doing so, utmost betrayal is slowly unravel. 
This is a film from Quantum Films, Cineco Productions, and Purple Body Productions. Directed by Chito Ronio, written by Chris Martinez, starring Julian Santos and Lorna Tolentino. Espantaho po ang Pilipino. Congratulations. Strange frequencies, haunted hospital, the kingdom. <laughs>